Hey there. I'm gonna do a setting with my pumpkin. Happy Halloween. So you are not separate from what's appearing. You also don't exist and there only is what's appearing. Therefore, what's appearing is not separate. It is one thing. Therefore, it is no thing. It's also everything. It appears equally.
And seeking covers this up. The constant, incessant activity, neurosis, covers that up. And it creates this illusion that there are two things, you and the world, you and your child, you and your lover, you and your friend, you and your coworker, you and your neighbor, you and your health, you and your life, you and your seeking, you and your work, you and your emotions, you and your thoughts, you and your body, you and your moods, you and Halloween. I love my pumpkin. He sparkles, but if I put that feature on, he's noisy. So. You and the noise. You and everything else. And that's what's appearing, the unreal. That appears real. The unreal appearing as real. So you are the unreal appearing as real. And as a part of that are also your beliefs, your thoughts, your perspectives, your wants, the things you don't want. And all that's appearing. And the you believes that it has a say in all that. That it has a choice of the work that it does and who it dates and what it feels and what it thinks. And it's continually setting up its life to get the best possible scenario with its health and with its life, with seeking, with everything. It's just continually trying to get the best possible scenario. And it'll cling on to either, um, its seeking will cling on to either the enlightenment story or the life purpose story, or the health and wellness story, or the career story, or the my relationship story. And it will use that to propagate its seeking and its uh, anxiety, its restlessness, its discontent, because that's all that seeking is. It's, it's the message that this is not enough, that there's something better than this. But something better is a dream.
all that can be known is this, and this is total not knowing. The minute that knowing this comes into the equation, then there's this and then an overlay of what you believe this is. This is a body, these are atoms. This is time. This is a room. This is the daytime. Without that knowing and without that belief of what this is, there is just total not knowing. So you can't get anything here. So the you or that seeking its nature is wanting to get something so that it can relax and ease its sense of separation or anxiety. But that is only ever temporary, giving you the meditation or the affirmation or the snack or the pay raise or the relationship or the nice house, it'll only be temporarily satisfied before it moves on to something else. And trying to stop the seeking or getting the seeking to stop is just another form of getting another form of seeking. So what this message is saying is no thing. No you, no going, no getting, no thing. Not even this. You can't even get this presence here and now. You can't have it. You can't get anything here. And these systems, they have a very predictable way of behaving based on the programs, conditions, and behavioral traits of the personalities. They can be quite predictable. And the intelligence... Um, is able to make certain conclusions and deductions and um,
move within that framework of what it thinks it knows. And so that gives this appearance or this sense that this is controllable and that this can be gotten, modified, shifted into your framework of pleasure. Into a foolproof little box where no pain can come and enter you. So there's constantly that friction because life continually proves that wrong. That dream's just getting continually um, dismantled. These ideas that things will turn out the way that you want them to. cause a lot more of the seeking because then you have to try harder and then on top of that you'll feel guilt, shame, I failed, I did a bad job, I should have read that self-help help book, I should have gone to that men mentorship program, I should have listened to my father, I should have taken that job. It's pretty hairy, isn't it? Um, this is the end. This is the end. This is the end. There's nothing here to get. There's nowhere to go. There's no one to be. Just the coming and going, people, places, money, moods, I thought I should go get a cookie, I should take a road trip down the coast. Maybe I'll have coffee today. Maybe I should do a little bit of work. Coming and going. In and out. The miscommunication, I think, in a lot of this messaging, a non-dual messaging, is that this has to look a certain way. So much of what is experienced is experienced through a network of images. This is beyond images. This is beyond appearances. This is beyond what you think should and shouldn't happen. This has no start and it has no finish. You didn't start your awakening and you're not waiting for your awakening to finish and complete itself. You're not waiting to get out of the dream. You're not waiting for that moment where one day you'll be enlightened and suffering will end. No, that's not what's happening. It may appear like that.
and it may seem real. But you are not here, so you can't awaken, and you can't end your seeking, and you can't get to a better place than this. You also can't make this look better. You also can't choose how this plays out. It may have appeared in your life that you chose your career path, that you chose your partner, that you chose where to live, that you chose what to eat this morning, that you chose to go do your workout later in the day, that you chose to um, adopt a more positive mindset and a healthier lifestyle, that you chose to dress up for Halloween Nobody did those things. Nobody made those choices. They just happened. Just like you were just happening. Just like this is just happening and just like everything is happening. And it's not going anywhere. And it doesn't mean anything. And nothing needs to change. You don't need to change. You don't need to get anything. Because you don't exist. You are not here. You were never here. You don't have a name, you don't have an age. You don't have a past. You don't have a future. You don't own anything. You don't have any titles. You don't have any genetic predispositions. You didn't make any mistakes. You're not getting older, you're not getting sicker, you're not getting better, you're not getting younger. No thing. You are no thing.
And this can't be known because this is no thing. The mind is knowing, thoughts are knowing, the seeking is knowing, it's exclusively interested in knowing, knowing what it is and knowing where it's going, knowing where it will end up. This is total not knowing, total free falling, but not for you. Not for you. This is the returning of you back to all of life. This is the dissolving of you back into everything, which is how it's always been. That's it for today. Have a great uh, weekend.